what is up guys lazy boy here and today uh, I thought I'd tell you guys some stuff just to you know get you going and have you guys check it out on my channel see my content I'm gonna start uploading and all those types of things but first um, this is my first video uh, on this account that I actually decided to get serious with um, this is kind of one message. of them things where you know you try it see how you like it and if you don't like it then you know you can quit doing it but today I'm feeling pretty good about it actually this morning it's pretty early um, but anyways today I have a good video for you but just a reminder um, if you guys would like comment and subscribe to my channel that would be amazing I see how you guys been treating uh, Envious. Envious, shout out. You're an amazing, amazing YouTuber, bro. So, much respect. Um, also, too, um, you should go check out his channel. His channel is pretty good, too. Um, but anyway, let's get right into it. So you guys have been hearing a lot about what's been going on with hmm. Destiny 2, about how there was a Reddit post and all that type Eagle. of stuff saying how Mega Bloks was releasing the whole thing on Shax wielding a raise lighter and fighting Cabal in the tower. Now that hey, that may or may not seem legitimate. Um, you know we've had plenty of instances where the Cabal were essentially calling for allies in different pieces of outer space to come to earth and kind of just you know take over everything <clears throat> so there's that and then there's a few other things that kind of seem a little iffy to me for example um I've read a few uh, reddit posts some on uh, GameFAQs, some on IGN all that type of stuff about a Destiny 2, and I, I don't know. I've I've seen a few few times where they were talking about, oh well, we're gonna get rid of uh, the Sunbreaker subclass, and we're gonna get rid of the Striker subclass, and all that type of stuff. But personally, I think that the subclasses they're probably gonna leave in would probably be the I would say the most used in PVE. Which would be, of course, the tether, the hammers, and probably more or less the self res because there have been releases of fan art or concept art, whatever you guys want to call it, uh, where the warlock is wielding a what almost looks like a scythe, kind of, and the hunter has like a sword, I believe. If I'm wrong, you can correct me in the comments below. Uh, but anyway, I feel like they're going to keep the Tether and the Sunbreaker and the self res subclass just because for the simple fact that those are the most used in PvE, and if they took those out, then there would probably be a huge controversy about it. So that's kind of my personal perspective on it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. The second piece of it is is who knows if we're going to get a character transfer that's also something that i've been reading on different message boards and threads and all that type of stuff i've been i've been reading quite a bit and i mean who knows we might get a character transfer you know you wouldn't have to say say for example if they do let you keep your light level in your level as 40 and your light level at 400 if you are then personally I think that'd be pretty good considering the fact that who knows they might just have the enemies start out at say a normal 40 and then they who knows they could climb up to say 80s for another 40 level or they could make it go up to 100 and who knows they'll, they'll probably increase your light level to maybe a thousand to equal out that hundred so like I said comment comment below and let me know what you guys think but uh, the other thing I wanted to talk to you about is what everyone's going on about 
the Bungie stream on February 8th. Now, what I think that, I mean, this is personal opinion. I mean, Bungie, you obviously have, you know, more authority over us YouTubers. Um, but what I think they should have done is they shouldn't have necessarily messed with the special because, I mean, that's going to make sniper rifles obsolete. Like, everybody's going to be using either ammo regenerative weapons like the Invective or the Icebreaker, or they're, they're just going to be running around with sidearms. I mean, sidearms really aren't that useful unless you're going up against someone who doesn't have any special ammo as far as a shotgun is concerned. But if they were going to do that, well, do it the way that uh, they were explaining how they were going to do it, then I personally I think that they should have done it to where, you know, they should have took all the game types and made it so all the game types have a certain specific time of special regeneration. For example, you could take uh, you could take Rift and Clash and make that 60 seconds. Then you could take 3v3 games excluding elimination and you could make that 30 seconds. And then in Trials and Normal Elimination, you can make the special 15 seconds. Because if you're doing... Alright, let's, uh, let's roll back a little bit. Say if you're doing... Uh, say you're doing Clash or Rift, someone can come with a super and just completely annihilate the whole entire team. And then all the all your teammates and you that picked up special, you're not going to have special anymore. And you're going to have to sit there and wait for a whole minute. Because most likely the team has found all the other special and have grabbed it. If that makes more sense, comment below. Tell me what you think. But that's my personal opinion. Old names but anyways, it was kind of a short video today, guys. A little bit of a discussion. Yes. Um, as far as the Matador is concerned... I think that was a pretty a pretty good move on that because you could obviously see that on the graphs that they showed in their live stream that the Matador is just it's it's the the most used secondary weapon in the whole entire PvP meta. It's it you you hardly ever see scout rifles, auto rifles, um, not bad. I mean, you see some sidearms, like some people are using the Havoc Pigeon or the Binding Blaze if they got a, a God Roll on it or something of that sort. But my personal opinion, I think that if they were going to do that to the Matador, then, you know, they should have done something just a little bit different with the Special Ammo. But, I mean, it, it's not bad so far. It's just, I, I mean, who knows? It, it, Destiny 2 might be a little bit better on that. I have no idea what their plans are for that. But like I said, it's just my personal opinion. Um, but yeah, it's kind of a short video today. And that shout out to uh, Envious Gaming. I've been watching a lot of your videos, bro. So keep it up. Um, but yeah, I mean, thank you guys for watching. And as always, have a good day.